this video, we're diving into the world of isolation scoring moves, where you will learn how to dominate when you have the ball in your hands, no matter the situation. Get ready to add some effective techniques to your offensive arsenal. Let's go. <laughs> What is isolation scoring moves? All right, let's talk about isolation scoring moves. Well, in the game of basketball, we have three levels of scoring we, that we talk about. We talk about being able to shoot a three-pointer, that's one level. Being able to pull up for a mid-range jump shot, that's the second level. And the third level is getting to the basket for layups, right, high percentage finishes. Those are three levels that we normally talk about. Well, there's another level of scoring that also you wanna learn to add to your arsenal, and that level, it's called isolation scoring moves. Now, ISO scoring, also called ISO for short, is when your play breaks down, you wanna have a go-to move or go-to counter move that you can act with with immediacy. Immediately, right? Not saying the same word, we wanna do this move immediately with immediacy, where you're more effective and efficient. With efficiency, we're talking about less is more because less is better. I can do it because I practice it. We're talking about one move and go or double moves and go, that's simple. A go-to move is one move. Typically, it's a change of direction move. My change of direction move was always a spin move. I don't care if I was going right, I don't care if I was going left, I know that move is gonna be effective. And typically, I, when I made this move, I went right into a jump shot every single time. That was my go-to nervous move. Play breaks down, I know I have a scoring option. A double move, in this sense, can be two change of directions. It could be a change of speed into a change of direction. But you know it's a move that's effective, that you can go into when you need to. So we're gonna talk about isolation scoring, let's go. Let's build up the skill of learning how to handle the basketball in those situations. Because let's say, for example, defense did a great job of shifting, playing great defense. Now you're coming up to catch the basketball. You don't want to catch it and get stuck. We want to keep the ball moving, either in the air or on the ground as you're getting downtown, downhill to the basket. Keep the ball moving, okay? That's what I mean by acting immediately with immediacy. And typically, you want to learn how to just make one move and go. Whether that's just a change of direction to a change of speed, whether that change direction is more of a setup, or you're coming into it, you got an L move, right? You go with a change, change, come into it, a drop off. You're getting to the basket, it's quick. Let's work on building that skill up. First, we're gonna go into one move and go. Just change the directions from the baseline to the free throw line, being really quick. One change, one change. Keeping a wide base as well. Why keep a wide base when you're making these moves and not going into what we call a split foot? Well, see, if I keep a wide base, it's easier to hop into my shot to lift up the shoe. If you go into a split foot as you're attacking, you're kind of giving away your move. You really can't go anywhere, right? You're trying to go at somebody, but you're in a split foot mentality. You want to keep a wide base. I can go right, I can go left. I can become shifty to lift up the shoe or shot. I know. Right now, same concept. Let's go with now, just crossover. Crossover, one and go. One and go, eyes are up, eyes are up, one and go. Crossovers, eyes are up, one and go. Keep it simple, wide base. Last behind my back, trust me, trust the handle, trust the handle, slide. These are slides. See, I'm sliding the ball behind my back. I'm sitting down low with a wide base. Okay, now, go-to counters, those are go-to moves. Change of direction, one and go. Go-to counters are double moves. Your go-to move could be, again, a crossover. The counter might be another crossover. So let's work on now how to actually use those combination moves. So first, we're gonna go into what I call a pound, crossover, cross back, with a little rock, right? Add a little rock for flare to throw off your defender's timing. What you do right hand, now go left hand back. Stay low when you make these moves. Basketball is below your knee. It's below your knee. Now we go with that same crossover, but then we go between the legs. See? I'm progressing the skill. I'm progressing the skill. Now what I do right hand, I go back with the left hand. Right, simple crossover between. Add a little rock to it. Add a little rock to it. Add a little rock to set up your defender, okay? now. You got two choices, up to you. You go in front of you, behind you, 
with the crossover, you can go behind, you can go between behind. Right, I'm gonna go with between behind for me. Start my right hand, between behind. Between behind, add that pound dribble for rhythm and balance. I might rise to set them up. Rise, boom, drop. Rise, boom, drop. Boom. From here, I mean, you got all kind of things now you can do. It's totally up to you on your double moves. But I wanted to give you an example of how to build the skill first. Now we're gonna go to the basket and attack the rack in these isolation moves. Let's go. Hey, we're trying to reach 15,000 subscribers and we really need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week that we become a premium best ball player. So if us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's talk about a situation where you were looking to turn the corner, lifting from the corner to the wing. You received the basketball. The play is completely broke down. Defense is in good help position, right? You can't really go like you need to go. Now you got to put the ball on the floor and ISO into a move and go. So I'm going to go into this first with a change of speed into a change of direction. So one move and go. Okay, now let me set them up. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do what's called a slide dribble, which is like a change of tempo move where I'm going to get my defender going to my left with my slide. And then I'm going to go right into a change of direction going to the basket, okay? Slide dribble, hand dribble is also called, or float. I'm going to do one move and go. Dribble up. Nothing's there. I so boom. Attack the basket. Lay the ball up. I want you doing this five times. Speed, spin the ball up. Let the ball float. Change direction. Finish it. Right, my go-to move in this case is between the legs. As a taller guard forward, that's what I was always used to. You can go in a crossover behind. I used to be behind on this one, last one. I come up. I drop it off. That's one move and go. Let's talk about now, go-to counter. I now have to make two moves and go. I'm still gonna use that float dribble when I catch it to float away, make them chase. Now I'm gonna go into a low ISO move on a double. Might be a double cross. Might be a crossover to behind the back. I'm gonna just create. But you know I have two change direction moves I'm gonna use. I want you doing this five times. I'm gonna do it three. Let's go. Here I go. Spin it, catch it, float, double change. There. Layup. Two more. Spin. Flow. Double change. Two. Layup. Spin it. Chase it. Flow. Double move. Ah. Step back. Hold that ball through. Knock down. Play breaks down. You gotta learn how to make plays yourself. ISO score, let's go. I wanna make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium basketball player or as a coach, taking your team to the next level, contact us for in-person training. That's right, we will travel to you and lead a customized camp, clinic, or training session that I guarantee you as players and as coaches will take your mentality and your physical skills in basketball to the next level to dominate in every game. Enjoy your gift, keep attacking. I look forward to talking to you soon.